Yeah, I'll put them there. I can find them there. Nice. So that was the 1940s destroyers. Wait, hang on. Did I not have 1940s submarines already done? So I thought I started searching those, researching those first. Clearly not. I thought I did that first, though. Oh, 15 days. It's not far off. I don't feel like my army is up to speed at all. What do we need? We'll switch that out later. The high military command. We go for an infantry expert, I think. Attack and defense. Army logistics. We can't do the close air support yet. I don't know whether we'd even want to. Army regrouping. I think I'll go for this because it's a it's a, just a big advantage to pass up on, is that? Let's go for it. Yeah, insufficient resources. Again, the tungsten. Sweden. Sweden, what are you doing? We might have to go and have words with Sweden. They're, uh, they become rather unreliable trade partners. That is the basic submarine snorkel. Dramatically reduce their visibility. I think I'd probably go with that. But we have 1940s subs now. Do we have any more in the torpedo department? Or do these give me any benefit? Chance to receive critical hits is reduced. I don't think that's not important at all. That's not important today. The mines are there to, to give me control of seas rather than inflict damage. So, oh, I wanted this though, didn't I? The depth charge mortar. It's a bit ahead of time. We're in 39. There must be something new that I have forgotten. Oh, we're in 39. Okay, we need, we need all the good stuff here. We need the engineers and the field hospitals and stuff. Let's work on them. Army logistics will help with the Eastern Front. Could do. Could do. We'll see how that goes. See how it looks. I mean, just general supply issue is it's always nice to have more supplies. So anyway, we're going we're to work over Czechoslovakia. It's not long away. Unassigned divisions. Yes, excellent. We're finally getting infantry divisions turning up. Uh, Brew City Mafia, thanks for the follow. And welcome to the stream. So which army were they destined for? Because I can't remember. I've got several on the build here. On the Polish front? Possibly. We've got six divisions coming through here. Well, I'll fill the Polish army up. Smoke generators are done. Nice. Now that now you can go and research the depth charge mortars. Hey, here we go. Right, the fate of Czechoslovakia. The end of Czechoslovakia is at hand and our forces are marching into Prague at this very moment. Which is a shame, because I've been to Prague and it's, it's one of my favourite uh, cities in Europe. Favourite places I've ever been. With the surrender of the Czechoslovakian military, we have liberated vast quantities of armaments. Their tanks in particular should serve our forces well. They'll all be light tanks, I think. Bowman, Berman, will be annexed into Germany as a protectorate. But what should become of Slovakia? We can set them up as an autonomous puppet state under Josef Tiso. Partition it with Hungary? I don't think so. All of Czechoslovakia belongs to the Reich. Gain base war support. That's nice. Uh, set up as a puppet state. Why would I want to set them up as a puppet state? I can't see any particular benefit in that. Apart from I can recruit their manpower, maybe. No, it all belongs to the Reich. It's all Germany. It's mine now. All mine. Right, now, now we're moving across onto the, uh, let's get some infrastructure going. That should have given us a load of stuff. Let's see what it's done, actually. Fate of Czechoslovakia. Nice. The question of Yugoslavia. With Czechoslovakia out of the picture, the balance of power in southeastern Europe has shifted dramatically. Czech arms and money were used to support a number of countries that now need to look for new sponsors. Perhaps it is time to remind Prince Paul of that fact. Put the squeeze on him. 
German pressure. Pause, 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 pause. Zog submits to Italy. So Italy is expanding. Hungary could be useful. So Evil Mark, when you... Yes, Evil Mark does make an appearance from time to time. We have a very big border there. But our cavalry army no longer needs to be a part of it. So what I can do is we've got him and him. Where's this where's this guy? That guy's over there, right. So let me just move him out of there for a moment. And these guys can cancel all orders. How do we do how do we do that? Uh, is it right click? Yes. It's, it's been a while since I've played this. <laughs> and then we get him, Von Runstead, and we do a front line across the entire border. There we go. Poland is suddenly looking vulnerable. We're just going to knock this down a bit so we can play it on whilst we've got some stuff going. We've got, we've got planes in reserve. What have we got? And we've got some... New equipment researched. It's all getting very exciting now. It's getting very exciting. We're getting to the interesting times. Let me boost up my field hospitals and stuff. Improve the troops that are in there. Outdated equipment. It is. We've got new guns now. That's going to take uh, quite a while, I think. There's a lot of upgrading to do. The old guns. We have a big stack of old guns, which we can maybe send away somewhere. I feel like I want more fighters and close air support. Let's put more fighters in there. These are the guys that are going to get shot down faster, aren't they? What have we got? Not enough manpower equipment to fulfill our garrisons. Uh, yes, we need to make a garrison division. I don't have enough army experience for this. Generally, this is, um, this is a cavalry division, but without any of the support and stuff in. Apart from the military police, do we have the military police one? Uh, let's have a look if we do. We don't yet. I could do that, but we can always add that in at a later date. It's not, it's not overly important. Not yet. Meanwhile, we should be making some more aircraft. Where are my aircraft? They're up here. Do we have room there? We do. Let's add in... Let's uh, let's cancel that, by the way. Close air support. Nice. 200. We have room for that. We do indeed. And we shall set them on to training. And I'm going to make an extra one as well. And set that off training as well. Very good. How am I mediums doing yeah not so clever plenty of plenty of aircraft though we're doing well we can make some more fighters that is actually full so let's make some in berlin where we do have some room it's gonna be interwar fighters are they we have a lot of captured stuff which we could give away we'll put those guys in and get them training how's manpower 2.61 million. That's fine for now. Uh, divisions unassigned. Not for long, they're not. What do we have in the way of uh, divisions coming through? We have a load more infantry divisions. The Panzer division is slow because we're, we're not... We don't have the motorized. We are getting there, though. So it's looking better. That's going to help with dispersed industry. And that will help as well. Production efficiency cap. Get that boost up. Uh, what are we short of? Decisions available. Anything new? Region-wide industrial integration. Just adds a building slot. Dismantle the Czechoslovakian forts. Which gives me what? Which grants land fort construction speed and coastal fort construction speed for six months. Okay, there's no benefit to that at the moment then. Yeah, I could see dismantling them would be a good idea because 
They only provide cover for enemies when we get invaded. If we get invaded. We're not going to get invaded. We're going to be fine. Hungary is looking very uh, vulnerable there. Do they like us very much? Eh, so-so. Invite to faction. No, oh, Italy. Invite them to join our faction. I could send a non-aggression pact to Italy. Let's make them... Let's do that. We like Italy. What about Japan as well? How's Japan doing over here? It's kind of making some inroads. Uh, they like us. That's good. Good, 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 good. Let's ask for docking rights, by the way. Not that I plan on basing any navy over there. And we should do the same with Italy. Ask for docking rights. Might be useful to have. What are we short of? It's this again. Okay, what's going on with Sweden? Is there a reason why, due to low trade influence? Well, screw you guys then. I will get my tungsten somewhere else, and you can stick it up your Swedish backsides. Let's get it from the United States. They have plenty. Oh, they'll be a problem. Let's get it from Portugal. I don't really want to send the United States any extra <laughs> factories to help their war, war effort. So we'll get it from Portugal instead. There we go. That helps. Importing too much rubber. Um, I'm importing... I need... Yeah, but if I take it down, if I take it down a step, it takes it down by eight. And I, w I only have like three left over. So... I need the, if I take it down, I'll be short of five rubber, I think. We have 16 units of rubber. Let's see what I'm doing with that. I'm bringing in 24. If I take it down. Oh, well, maybe I can take it down. What happens if I drop this off then? We've still got more than we need. I must have got some extra from uh, grabbing these lands then. Take it down again. What happens? Zero. That's so far so good, I think. What's evil about it anyway? They weren't doing anything useful or productive with their independence. Exactly. It's exactly the... Exactly the motto of the British Empire was that. Well, they weren't doing anything useful with their land, so we thought we'd take it off them. So let's have a look at the armies. I've got nothing particularly going on at the moment. The armies are getting supplied. You need to continue your training. The cavalry is... The cavalry corps is ready. Over here, the armoured stuff isn't. We've got an infantry division there. Oh, I think I know what I was doing with this. Right, so where, where are you guys at? Right, okay, yes. You need some uh, some reinforcements on this border. At the same time, I don't want to leave myself weak over on one of the other places. Yeah, I could definitely, though, put a, a weaker army in there. Which would make sense if I swapped these two around then, wouldn't it? Or transfer some units. Yeah, I can transfer 10 Come units on. from there. Bereit zum Ausrücken. Bereit. 10. Into that one. Because this... Oh, well, I don't have any flipping forts in there, actually. There is a thing. There is a thing to get some created. So maybe that was a bit uh, optimistic doing that. Hmm. Well, new divisions will go down there. Yes, stocks of oil would not be a bad idea, you're right. These guys. Well, that's finished now. Actually, I will put them down there then. Because that is that is technically full front line. Uh, maybe I should move... No, because we're not at war with these places yet, are we? I say yet. We're not at war with them yet. 
I don't need to pile into the Netherlands at first. Anyway, yes, you can uh, you can get retraining as well. Free civilian factories. We've got silos going up for fuel. Dockyards, I think we're okay for just at the moment. Some air bases. We're probably okay for air bases for the Poland campaign. Oh, it might be a good idea to have something over here. Some new aircraft over there. Let's uh, let's just transfer. I need to find a home for this. Forts? Should I just... I'll tell you what, I will. I will do some forts. Just in case. Just in case I get caught out by anything. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Not ten. Yes. We don't want ten. I don't want it to level three. That was a little bit optimistic, was that? These will actually build really quickly. It means I can forget about um, defending this with a full strength army. Or I can transfer divisions away. So that'll be fine. And then there's a... There's, I know three strength forts aren't that great, but there's a... I'm sure there's a national focus which puts fortresses on the border there. Yeah, it gives you those for free, but if you build... I don't think it gives you level 10 for free, does it? I might do, actually. Let me take a look at that. Let's have a look. Gains national spirit, land fort construction speed, place land forts along to the Baltic in each of the following states. Does it give you up to level 10? It's level 3, okay. So if I build to level 3, then that will boost it up to level 6, which is, is easily enough. And it's more economical to do that, because level forts level 1 to 3 are considerably quicker and cheaper to build than higher level ones. So that's okay. So yes, I'll get them boosted up to level 6, which will be great, which will be... Is it's either enough to stop the enemy attacking or, or enough to uh, repel attacks easily. Because if they'll look at a level 6 force, sometimes they'll attack it and sometimes not. But all is going well so far. Get the experience built up, please. How about the Navy? Repairing? We don't want them repairing. <laughs> they all ramming into each other on basic manoeuvres. The mine subs. Yes, yeah, some of those do need repairs. Uh, what about the big ships? Are the big ships... No, the big... Okay, these guys need some training. If I put that fleet out to sea, that's going to... Um... Go on, then. That's going to eat up all the fuel that's left. Yep, there it goes. Because I have the Air Force on, on training as well. Speaking of the Air Force, let me take um, 200 fighters. And let's, let's put... Um, yeah, let's put these guys over. Not that we're planning anything against Poland. No, 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 no. We've got space for another one of these. Who should we have? What should we have? Military High Command. Chief of the Army. Army Organization. Division Organization plus 8%. That sounds quite good. Division Attack sounds good. Division Speed. And Army Training Time. Hmm. Hmm. These are quite good. These are all quite good. I can see benefits for all of these. I mean, organization is just a... That's, that's a 8% though. Is that going to make a big difference? Division attack. We're not going to conquer the world by defending, are we? So let's go with that. I've forgotten about Denmark. Maybe I should have a little force on the border there. All right, everyone's in training. Everyone's getting ready. We're building some forts. We're looking at uh, swamping Poland as fast as possible. So that being said... Hmm. We'll get the Navy trained up, then we can forget about the big battleships. 
What have we got? We've got more strike force subs. We're getting a decent sized navy put together now. That oh those are my destroyers. Did I not name I think it's that one, didn't I? Yeah, okay. Let's just name this the Reichs Autobahn. Which leads us to the German war economy for more military factories and building slots. I can probably do without that just just yet. What's this one? Infrastructure construction speed increases. Uh, that's not the one. That's not the one I want. It's the West Wall, isn't it? This adds 12 land forts on the French border. Uh, that would probably do it, actually. The Ost Wall. Oh, that's in the east. Yeah, it's just that one I think I want. Where are we up to? What's what's this? You can invite to a faction. Ask uh, ask to join faction request from Italy. Accept. Bit of world tension going up. They know which side their bread's buttered on. It would be awesome if Poland attempted to invade the USSR now. Wait, did we get the 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 Ribbentrop Pact? I don't think we did, did we? Did we get around to that? No. Okay, so I need to get that done. Okay, I'm going to be a bit late kicking off World War II. I do apologise, uh, folks. <laughs> Escort, so I know where we are with stuff. So there's going to be there's going to be a little bit of training going on there. It's just a destroyer to put out to sea. Of course, it all depends. Britain and France might not want to kick off the war. They might decide that there's uh, no interest in fighting us. Yeah, I don't think that's very likely either, but I can I can hope. If we're going to end up with some forts along that border, which would be nice. Where are my divisions? We're not making any. That would explain it. Let's sort that out right now. Recon company. I think we are using some of those, but we're in 39. Uh, we must we must need something in here. Yes, construction. Let's get that going. On the side divisions. We have some medium tanks. Excellent. You can join Rommel. That cavalry division. Oh. How did that happen? Has he got... I've made too many cavalry divisions. Never mind. Rommel's, Rommel's got a cavalry division, it seems. Uh, let's send you over over there. To step in and train. See, the lights will eventually be retired, but we're going to have to train these up first. And we're going to need to recruit some more. So I need uh, five there. How many do I need? Five. And eight. I need 13 infantry divisions. Let's get them cranked out. Probably need more than that, but we'll, we'll do what we have plans for to... Uh, uh, let's get another one of those medium tanks going as well. In Berlin, of course. French want to go ahead and sit this one out. It's a bonus time for you. It is. I don't think I don't think they will. I'm pretty sure if I go into Poland, they will kick off big time. I suspect. I might be wrong at that. I've never seen it. I don't think I've ever seen a time when they don't kick off from it. Yeah, we better get that ribbon chopped rib, ribbon chop pack going. I think. It might be beneficial. It's not essential. I could just go for Poland anyway. They don't seem to have much of an army down here. My cavalry can just swarm across. Which is a damn right, fine a point, second. actually. Let's start making some plans. Go all the way to there. I don't know that I will do an offensive attack quite so much with these guys though because uh, I tend to use I 
tend to use um, armoured units for that sort of breakthrough and just let the, uh, the other stuff move on in behind. But it doesn't hurt to have some plans made, just in case. Yeah, and you can push this border down. Go on, do that. That's going to that's gonna make it look very interesting, isn't it? It's going to make it look really messy. But we'll see what happens. Got the... Yes, we have. Let's send some... Let's send... 400 medium bombers down here where we can support the entire region quite comfortably all over Poland. This is, I don't know, I think uh, Romania, Hungary and Bulgaria, they might, I don't know Bulgaria, I don't know what it does actually. It probably joins the Axis. Direct ground support. Direct ground support is very nice. Formation fighting, air superiority missions, or we can go for fighter ace initiative. They're not exclusive, so we can do both. Let's just make sure there isn't anything else. Yeah, let's let's work down this. Let's get our tanks and stuff going up. We haven't been researching that for a bit. Bulgaria always joins the Axis. I don't remember seeing them doing very much in any games. Okay, we are holding positions. We need, we do need to work up our fuel. What are we, we're, we're building forts quite slowly. I might crank up a couple of civilian factories, you know. I mean, I'll probably capture enough before long, but uh, I do like having nice production. Actually, that's probably a good point. We, will, we, should, we should capture most of those, shouldn't we? from other places and then um, yeah I'm sure that'd be fine can't see there being any any problem with that coastal forts let's just reduce that a level in fact level 8 coastal it's nearly finished but uh, yeah level 8 coastal fort is quite a formidable thing especially there's no troops I'm gonna have to build garrisons to defend these places as well I'm behind with my military divisions and garrison training Yes, we are pretty much waiting for World War II. I'm waiting for other projects to kick off as well. Field Hospital is excellent. Armour. We're in 39. Come on, there's got to be something else I've missed. We can go for these early. There's a small penalty for it. Naval Doctrine. There was something I wanted to get for that. That's doing its stuff over there. Engineering? Oh, engineering. Should we... Yeah, let me get some better radar on this. For the destroyers. What, what are we... Um... Oh, it's the west wall, isn't it? To get the forts along here. Uh, what should we have? Chief of the Navy. No, we'll go for one of these. Army logistics, army regrouping. Do I want the close air support? I don't think the 3% is going to make much of a difference. Whereas divisional attrition might. And the recovery rate might. 